Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the probability of an interval. So, given the value b greater than or equal to a, we want to derive that the probability of the interval a less than x less than or equal to b is equal to the difference between the cumulative, the cumulative distribution function fx of b minus fx of a. So, graphically this can be seen as follows. So let us, I mean this is, assume that this is the x-axis and this is the interval between a and b since a is less than b. So the, the CDF will look something like this which is a non-decreasing function and we want to verify that the probability of this interval that is between a and b it should be equal to the difference between fx of b and fx of a. So let us define the event uh, e b which is equal to all the values of x which are less than or equal to b. So this is the event b. Now we can clearly see that from the plot from the graph that this event can be divided into union of two disjoint events which is basically x less than or equal to a union a less than x less than or equal to b. So which is basically uh, from the graph that this area, I mean this region that is x less than or equal to b can be split into two regions which is x less than or equal to a and the interval a to b and by definition this is nothing but the event a and this is event a b. So, it is union event a to event union event a b. So, probability of the event b is equal to probability of event a plus probability of the interval and this probability of interval is nothing but the left hand side of the original proposition which is going to be equal to probability of a less than less than x less than or equal to b is equal to the difference that is probability of event a or event b minus probability of event a which is nothing but the CDFs, the difference between CDFs that is fx of b minus fx of a. So, the probability of a given interval can be easily calculated as the diff that is the probability of interval is given by the difference between the CDF of the upper limit minus CDF of the lower limit. Thanks for watching.